hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Northern Tundra, inside the cave named the Crevice, building a Thieves' Guild. This build has been suggested a couple of times over, say, the past six to eight months, most recently by Stubaka Studios on my Stables build guide, so thank you for suggesting this build, Stubaka, and everyone else who has mentioned it. This build will be using mods in decoration, and the mods I'm using can be seen on screen now. I initially thought you might need less building placement restrictions to build here, but apparently that actually isn't the case, as I built in here initially with no mods at all. This build was also previously streamed live on Twitch, so if you want to see future builds as I'm making them, and have input on their design, feel free to drop me a follow on Twitch to catch my next stream on Thursday the 2nd of June at 2pm British Standard Time. Before we get started though, we do of course have to thank the sponsors NordVPN. If somehow you haven't heard of them before, NordVPN offers one of the best rated VPN services available, featuring super fast servers in 60 countries, no data logging, 24-7 customer support, double data encryption, the ability to unlock region lock content including Netflix, ITV, BBC iPlayer and such, and more to ensure you always stay safe on the internet. With unlimited bandwidth, a lightweight Chrome browser extension, and the ability to use Nord on up to six devices simultaneously, including mobile devices, NordVPN is the best way to protect yourself on the internet. It's simple to use one click and you are both connected and protected. NordVPN is great and it's one of the best ways to support me. Each video I make takes roughly between 8 and 12 hours to make, so when you purchase NordVPN through my link you really do help me out a ton. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash iradyt, or use code iradyt at checkout, which comes out to $3.49 a month, or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a great price for the service. As always, a massive thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. So, without further ado, let's get started. I began by building a large tower in the back circular clearing of the cave, which will serve as the main entrance to the guild. I'll be using Savage Frontier almost exclusively in this build, which helps the tower fit nicely into the environment, and also helps to create a nice atmosphere inside the cave with the wooden interior texture. The entrance tower is little more than a grand staircase, but is also fairly reserved in not screaming the purpose of this relatively hidden build out to the world.
After building the tower, I then built a two tile wide corridor down to the guild itself, which will be buffered by two doors to either let thieves in, or turn away prying adventurers that have no business in the guild. Next, for the floor of the cave. This is really simple, I just use foundations to cover the floor and control the levels of the guild, always keeping in mind how I wanted certain sections of the guild to look. This build would probably be quite good for people playing single player mode, co-op, or indeed playing on official servers given that the base plate could be adapted to create a spacious and interesting build, though foundation limits on some non-official servers may stop people from building this guild as I have done. You could probably get around it with ceilings and fence foundations, or ceilings and pillars, but if you're on single player, foundations might be the easiest approach, or at least it was for me. In building the cave floor, I also built walls on the other entrance to block it off, then building a small office space above the guild floor and hollowing out a section on the main floor, then finally adding fences around the edges of the build, and pillars on the staircase where needed. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, the tower is imposing, yet very much nondescript, helping the build to stand out whilst also not screaming out to the world what it is. I've lit the build with aquiloni embrasures and wall torches.
Heading down the tower, we reach the corridor. This is again very nondescript, which is how it was designed, with the doors at the end stopping strangers from just wandering in. Entering the guild, we first reach the fences. These are people that will buy and sell stolen goods from thieves. Some are specialised for certain items such as art and jewellery, whereas there's always at least one general fence that will buy pretty much anything. Next we reach the tavern. Is it even a good thieves guild if it doesn't already have a tavern? The correct answer is always no. The tavern itself is small, but serves the hard working thieves with cold glasses of ale. In the back left corner is the storage department, where stolen shipments and larger stolen goods are held. Everyone in the guild agrees not to steal from the guild itself, so these items are, ironically, quite safe. Underneath the tavern is a tiny blacksmith. This is used mainly for repairing damaged blades and lockpicks, or forging new daggers for thieves. Next here is the Thieves Supply Store. Here, a mysterious woman sells rope, lockpicks, daggers, spyglasses and other instruments to aid thieves in their, let's call them adventures. And finally, heading upstairs, we reach the secure storage. This is where the guild's revenue from sales tax and contributions are safely stored. And there we have it, a thieves guild in the northern tundra inside the cave named the crevice. Thanks for watching, and thanks to everyone that has suggested this build, it's been a good while since the last cave build, and I've really enjoyed this one. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch, and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN where you use code ERADYT at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, 
So if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. During the lockdown, most of us are still in. The video previews that are usually restricted to the $20 tier will be open for the $10 tier as well, so everyone's got a little bit more content to enjoy. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Dawnfox, and MK Pantheon. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.